biodiversity. Now, what is the biodiversity? So, simply, biodiversity means the number of species you can find out in a single place or in per meter square. Higher the number of species, number of organisms you can find out, we would say higher is the biodiversity. Lower the number of species and the number of organisms we will find out in the unit area of that particular type of ecosystem, we would say that area is having low biodiversity. For example, if I give you an example of the Amazon forest. So Amazon forest, you all know, and that is in the South America, the uh, countries like Brazil are having these kind of Amazon forest. And the Amazon forest is known world, worldwide for their very high biodiversity. If you look at the per unit square area or per unit area, whatever you will take, there would be very high number of species you will found as well as very high number of organisms you can found. If it give you the example of the desert, for example, Sahara Desert or maybe Thar Desert of India. So here, if you take a unit area, then ob obviously you will get a very lesser number of organisms due to the harsh climatic condition as well as very lesser number of species you will find out. So biodiversity meaning simply the higher number of species and higher number of organisms. So if you look at the term biodiversity, so biodiversity was very firstly coined by Walter Rosen. This was the scientist who given this particular term in the year 1985. And after that, the biodiversity word is widely used. Biodiversity definition you can see here is the variety and variability of genus. It means the different genus of the organisms you can find out, different species of the organisms, or maybe the different type of ecosystem, like water ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, or you can say desert ecosystem or terrestrial ecosystem. So more number of ecosystems also, if you are finding, it means higher number of the biodiversity you will found between and within or variability among the living organisms. So higher would be the variability of the living organisms, more number of species if you are finding out. So you will, you can say that the biodiversity of this particular area is very high. So that is what biodiversity is. Biodiversity also includes variability of the genus, variability of the varieties, variability of the species, variability of the population in all the different ecosystems, variability of the relative abundance of the species. It means suppose one species is higher in number as compared to the other species. So we would say that the relative abundance of this species. Relative abundance means compared to any other kind of uh, species, you would say in the same environment. That is called as the relative abundance. Abundance means more availability. Relative abundance means as compared with other species. So this all will lead to the higher biodiversity. If these things are higher, so we would say uh, biodiversity is higher. If these things are lower, so the biodiversity is lower there. Then this biodiversity can be compared, you can say, or can be known with the multiple levels. These levels are basically three levels. The first level that you can find out here is the genetic diversity. So how the genetic material is different in one organism to another organism. That can be termed as genetic diversity. Then if I give you an example, suppose you take a frog. Then in the same forest, you can find out multiple types of frogs having different genetic material. Maybe it is possible. Maybe the frog species are also different. Maybe you can find out these inside the species also, there is a very high genetic variability. So that is called as the genetic diversity. Then we have the species diversity. Species diversity means higher number of species. If there is higher number of species, it means species diversity is high. If there is lower number of species present, so species diversity is low. Then also we have the third number of the level that is the ecosystem or community diversity. More number of ecosystem, terrestrial, aquatic, marine, and fresh water, desert, or maybe forest. These all different ecosystems if you can find out in a same area. So we would say that the biodiversity, ecological diversity is very high on that particular area. So that is third level of the biodiversity. So I hope the biodiversity is clear to you all.